So, what's up guys? I initially made a video, but it uh, messed up, so I started a new one here, and what we're doing today is we're going to take this PCIe 124, and we're going to try it out in Hive OS and see what we get. So I turned off the rig, pulled the power plugs out of the power supplies, and we're going to start with one. So I put it in the 16x lane, or slot, and rather than the 1x, and we're going to see if that uh, works or if it makes a difference or what. So I'm going to plop this one in. I don't even know which one to choose, but we're just going to choose this one. How about that? Okay, we'll stick that there and let's fire it on up. So we're booted up. Looks like we see six cards, which is what I got here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six cards, that's a good sign. And we're gonna see the uh, overclocks in Hive OS on the web GUI and see if these all got shifted around because they usually do when I put a new card in. But we're gonna see if it recognized it as the same slot. Even though we pulled it out. Put it in a different one, kind of. So, they're firing up now. They're getting all warmed up. Um, so, as this is loading, we're going to just refresh. So, we're getting the same hash rates. That's good. So, it looks like it recognized it. So, that's a good sign. Um, one thing we're not going to be able to test here, guys, is so I have six GPUs, and with the expansion, I have get uh, ten, right? Or really, I mean, if we didn't include the M.2 slots too, that would be two more. So with this, so we have six cards plus this, which would be six, seven, eight, nine. Wait, five. Six, so sorry yeah it's it's a total of nine six seven eight nine um gpus but i only have six so i can only test six at this moment but what we're going to do is we're going to put four in here and just see if this thing can get four so let's check another one let's do another one here all right we got two in we're going to go for two and we're going to wait for it to boot up here i just flipped the switch so It'll be a minute. But that's where I'm putting them. I'm putting them next to each other, and then I'm just going to work my way around. So I pulled out the, obviously this this is, I pulled out the first slot one, and then put the second one in there. So we'll see what those do. What do you guys think about all that? Errors. GPU. Failed. One, two, what the G184? One, two, three, four, five. Coffee Lake. Okay. So we definitely got some errors. What is that? Alright. We might have just got five cards. One, two, three, four, five. 38 is not registering. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace these cords and see which cords are going to which card because my 3080 I believe is in like the sixth one but it's not showing up so that's weird let's investigate here we're gonna run two again um, So it's saying four GPUs. I don't know if that's. So I was thinking maybe just a refresh would do it, a reboot, but it doesn't look like it. So one, two, three, four. And these first two cards, which I'm not seeing my 3080, which is weird because it's neither one of these put in here. 3080 is like right here or here. 
So it must be something to do with, I have no idea. We're gonna try putting it in a different slot and maybe we'll see if that does anything. Or I mean the USB, we'll put it into another USB port there. Invalid DRM. Do you know what that means? So same deal and you'll notice how it says G1A4 like I've never seen that Thirty seventy. so that could be one of those in the slots and it's like not able to identify it totally um, We're gonna try another thing I'm going to put in, I'm going to completely pull this out, the adapter, and put it in the first slot, and we'll see what that does. So this is weird why I'm having to see all this. I'm going to plug in my keyboard and do this. I'm going to have to type in some stuff here to get it to pull up the miner. Um, on HiveOS, if you type in miner start enter and then it's going to ask you to either type in minor or screen r i'm going to do uh screen r or zoom screen i'm just going to do minor that's what i usually do and there we are you missed the earlier stuff to see what was going on but should start scrolling here um So I only see three, four, how many cards? One, two, three cards. That's weird. So even worse when I put it in the first slot. Um, I'm going to switch off, uh, switch, switch, uh, I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me think for a second. What we got going on here is, um, well, I didn't turn on the server power supply first before the motherboard power supply. So I think that's why we were only seeing like three cards that time. Um, but we're gonna see what this does. If it doesn't work, then we'll try something Look at that, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's six cards. So I got two in there now. That's a good thing. So the power supply issue, make sure server power supply is turned on first. That's critical. Or I'm sorry, the, yeah, the one that's not powered into the motherboard, basically. Any external power supply, turn on first, and then the ATX, or whatever's powering your motherboard, so. All right, guys, that looks good. We're going to try three in the adapter now. I should note, guys, that as far as the power supply issue goes, I have the breakout board, which allows me to plug in the ATX Molex, like power supply, or power from the ATX to the um, breakout board, 
and when I flip this on, it powers on the server power supply, supposedly at the same time. But what I noticed is when it does that, the motherboard boots first, just fractions before the server. And so those cards that are connected to the server don't boot. They don't post because it comes after the motherboard. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, that's, that looks good, guys. Everything's good. Go for four. We had a slight uh, adjustment. So I did have the whole adapter in the 16X, but my fourth USB did not reach all the way down there. So what I did is I just moved it down one more slot. And we're going to see if that makes a difference. If not, then whatever. We'll just see. So we're booting again. Six GPUs. Okay, that's good. So it doesn't matter which slot if it's 16x or 1x which just blows my mind the technology how it does that how it gets one two four there we go guys four so that's what she's getting um i cannot confirm nor deny whether this will work with all this like a total you know if we had all these slots filled with six gpus and then we added you know total four, four it's three total so i don't know if this motherboard takes 10 cards or 12 i don't know without the adapter it takes eight it can handle eight cards with two m.2s and six pcie this is a uh asus z390p it's a white and black one um, Pretty common for the minor community um, what else so so it has eight cards max and if you had this adapter I don't know if it could handle more than eight so that's really what I want to know if any of you guys have done this combo let me know immediately and we'll go from there okay so thanks for watching guys hope you have a great night day whatever you got and I'll talk to you later bye